Good afternoon fellow hiking friends. I'm coming to you from a bit of an overcast Carryong mountaintop today. So I guess I just wanted to welcome you to my very first episode of Gear Whoring 101. As you all know, we uh, have set the task of embarking on the Overland Track in May 2022 with some uh, very adventurous friends who also share a love of hiking. So I guess part of this adventure for hiking is making sure that we have everything that we need to have an enjoyable time. That's where the gear whoring has sort of come into it. Yep, we need to make sure we've got everything. Top quality, new. If we don't need it, we buy it as well. And I'm coming to you today to share with you um, my most recent purchase. Gear Whoring 101 has led us to what I would like to call the Purple Palace. So this is my accommodation that I will be bringing on the Overland Track next year. Ladies and gentlemen, behind me we have the Purple Palace. Yes, it's bright purple. That's my tent for the Overland Track next year. Now, I think it's only fair that I share with you some of the great features of this Purple Palace. If you'd just like to have a little look around here, forgive me, videoing is not my friend. So let's uh, see if we can all figure this out together. So if you have a look around here, you'll notice that it's a two-person domed tent. There we go, two-person domed tent. You actually have dual access from both sides. You have some ventilation points at the end here. Just gonna point this one out to you. If you actually uh, pull the Velcro apart, you have a little stay in here that actually pops the ventilation point out. You can actually easily do that with one hand. As you can see there, more ventilation in the Purple Palace. I'm gonna swing it back around to me because obviously I have the inability to figure out how to turn the phone around. So little bit of a fail on my behalf but um, nonetheless you get the general picture so what we're going to do is we're going to walk down here we're going to have a look and we're going to try and get in the tent so you notice we've got some zippers down the bottom here so we just open those one-handed zip it all the way along zip it up there we're going to pop inside now this is from uh, nature hike it's actually called the monga Yep, the Purple Palace has a name, the Monga. Now, I'm just going to lay down. You'll notice that if you don't close your thigh, wildlife will get in your tent. Now, we have the common household cat that has decided to join us in the Purple Palace. Totally unplanned, but very much on cue. So what I was going to do was lay down and show you exactly how much room I have in the Purple Palace. My lay down spot's been taken by the cat. So I'll just show you how much headroom I have. Now, as you can see, I'm quite tall at 5'9". This tent sits up at 110 centimetres. So I have plenty of headroom here. Now this little bit of fly that you can see touching me here is actually a really good feature of the Monga or AKA the Purple Palace because you can actually put your headlamp up in the top of the tent and the fly diffuses the light fantastic for seeing in night now with that 110 centimeters that you've got above there i can actually get changed in this tent how fantastic is that now i'm laying down at the moment in the middle of the tent plenty of room as you can see possibly total starfish down there plenty of room so there's going to be room for both myself and my bag and my cat if she decides to come camping with me so I think all in all, we've got a great purchase. You'll notice up here, we've got some little pockets that we can put our belongings in. As you can see outside, lots of wonderful room to get out there. And also got little vestibule on the outside to put stuff in if you need. So ladies, thank you for watching uh, episode 101 of Gear Whoring in preparation for the Overland Track 2022. I look forward to you all meeting the Purple Palace. Bye.